Hi and welcome students. In today's Windows 10 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to navigate between local volumes and folders in File Explorer. Let's get started. So you'll see that I have my desktop showing here, and if I wanted to open up File Explorer, I just go right down here to the file icon and open that up. By default, it's going to take you to an area in the navigation pane, which is on the left side, called the Quick Access menu. This will show you any recent or uh, recent folders or files. Okay, and they will populate in this area. You can collapse or expand them by pressing this button right here. Also on the left side you're going to see this uh, area called This PC, and if you click This PC, this will show you all of your folders, devices and drives, as well as network locations. Alright, so if you ever wonder if your computer has enough space on its hard drive or how big the hard drive is on your computer, that is what's called your C drive right here, which is your system drive. That is the long-term internal storage on your computer. And so you'll see here that I have plenty of space available on my hard drive, and so that would be your C drive. If you have a DVD player on your um, on your computer, if you're using a desktop or a laptop, something like that, you may have a DVD drive. That's typically set up as your D drive, and uh, this one is for reading CDs and optical discs like uh, CDs, DVDs, Blu-ray, Blu things like that. And so that's what this drive is for. All right. And so I'm going to show you a little bit about how to navigate within these, and then I'm going to show you uh, a little bit more about some other types of drives that there are. So the first thing that you can do is you can double click on your C drive to see basically all of the files that are with in your folder. Now, anytime you click on something, let's say I go in here to program files, it shows me a large list of different files and folders that are within my hard drive. Anytime you click, it's going to create this up here, which is your file pathway. Now, this file pathway is very important because this will always tell you where you're at on your computer. So I always keep a close eye on this just so that I know exactly what I'm doing on my computer at all times. Now, you can use this button right here, which is up, and this will actually take you back to the previous folder or you could click on any of these to do that and so I click that and you'll see that I'm back here at system now okay now one of the cool things is you could also switch between anything uh, on your PC by clicking this button right here which expands and collapses the this PC menu most of your long-term storage is going to be stored here on your PC in typically your documents folder. So if you click on documents, you can see all of your different uh, documents that you have available um, on your computer. And so this will typically contain any folders or files that are saved right here in your documents area. Now this is also your navigation here. This will take you back to wherever you were before. So if I click back, you guys can see that I'm back at system C. Okay, so that's a little bit about how your C drive works and uh, how that looks when you're navigating in it. I'm going to go back to this PC and explain a couple more things. Uh, real quick, I'm going to show that myself on the screen here. Uh, you guys will see that I have a USB flash drive right here. And so anytime that you have this, this is basically your long-term storage. Uh, but it's also very portable. So these are typically a lot smaller in terms of size than, say, a normal size hard drive. And you can plug these in to... Uh, uh, basically have a portable drive with you at all times. They're very popular. So I'll plug in the flash drive here and you guys will see after I plug this in that the flash drive will pop up as USB drive E on my computer and you can see that I have two gigs available of storage here as opposed to 465 on my actual hard drive. So these are typically a lot smaller and so all I have to do to enter into there is I double click it and it will take me into there and now you can see I'm on this PC, drive E, which is my USB drive. So I could click back to go back to where I was before. The last thing that I'm going to go over is a network drive. Network locations is right here and you guys see that we have an H drive here. This is typically only something that you'll see if you're working for a company or if you're connected to a network within your organization. And so that's where um, all of uh, or a certain amount of computers or select computers will have access to the drive. And so if you have access to this drive, you will be able to access this drive from any computer in which um, has access to it. So this is how companies share files and share folders and uh, basically share their different documents so that they don't have to constantly email things back and forth to each other. So uh, the last thing I'm going to show you here is how to eject a flash drive. And so to uh, eject a USB disk or a flash drive, you just right click on it 
and then you go right down here to eject. It's important to note that you shouldn't have any of the files open when you do this. Let's say I had a Word document in here and it was open. I'm going to close that before I decide to eject this and I click eject and it says safe to remove hardware and then I can take that USB right out, oops, dropped it, and uh, basically I uh, don't have to worry about any files uh, having any problems or being um, disturbed when I remove the uh, USB. So hopefully this video has explained a little bit more about File Explorer, what the different drives are, and how to navigate between them. So if this video has helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.